Hey guys, uh, sorry in today's episode I thought uh, I would show you guys how I make my Darth Vader fire pits, so inset picture, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, to start off I thought I'd show you uh, basically how I make it. Uh, I'll inset another picture right now, kind of show you a before and after. It's been a long process uh, to get this guy where I want him, and I, I keep changing him. So a few things that uh, are obviously key are having some really good, uh, I made some stencils, okay. Uh, so that's my main one that I put, this is upside down right now. And that's my main one uh, that I use, and uh, I've adjusted the spaces over time. Uh, my daughter actually came up with the eye shape that turned out perfectly and I put this on a, these are throw down countertop things uh, from the bed bath and beyond that you use to cut on. Really thin uh, but make awesome templates because I used to use that cardboard thin white stuff and they wouldn't last uh, and I've been using this one for about three years now and it's perfect. So. Templates is a massive part of this. Uh, here's part of the mask. Uh, like I said, I used to make them out of paper, but now everything's out of, uh, out of steel. Part of the mask, part of the mask, part of the mask. I used to use just cheap hinges that you can go buy, so door hinges and stuff like that, but they weren't really... Uh, holding up for the mask that opens so I use this weld on hinge uh, I get a ton out of it and they're just really robust this is what I like to use this is material that's left over from pipe that uh, I use this for his nose and uh, so both things the front of his nose and the bridge of his nose so anyway I'm gonna get going here and the first thing you gotta do which uh, kinda sucks is you got to strip just using this paint tank. Paint stripper, and if I, I do the steps right, it just kind of everything flows. So I'll put some of this on. I coat usually from here down to here, and then I'll go over to my steel, uh, which for the facial parts and the mask, I use two by material. I think it's uh, I don't think it's three sixteenths to eight. I use the thickest gel that I can find. Uh, because it does come down onto a vertical uh, It doesn't run off as bad. You'll still get some all over the place. Just start like laying out my mask stuff. stuff and in between putting coats on I'll put a coat on, I'll lay out and then I'll start cutting out uh, and then so on and so on just so I don't waste any time. So. So there you have it on this piece of two inch wide. I've used all my uh, templates and I've marked out uh, this is for the mask. What I uh, laid out on that uh, two inch stock with my templates uh, in between coats. I've, I put my second coat on and, then, and for me just knowing because I've done so many of these now over I've probably done 70 of these things uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's starting to flake away uh, the powder coat. So it's pretty much ready, but I've learned from experience that even though it looks ready, it'll leave patches and stuff. And the patches that are on there, if you don't let it sit a little longer, they're, they take forever to get off and they get in the way so of your finished the template, coat. what takes the time is really making templates because you need to come up with the circumference or the the angles and uh, the roundness of the tank at whatever these are going to sit so that's what took me the longest uh, to get it right uh, now that I got it right it's a piece of Three cake. The main things that I use uh, on my grinders is these really thin uh, I use four and a halfs uh, I don't use fives or sixes because of the like the the next one would be curves. obviously uh, everybody's favorite. I like flat this. What I'm going to be using on uh, this guy to strip them is these uh, cup brushes. Okay, so 
these things are nasty hence why even though I'm not welding right now I got my leathers on and then I'll also put a uh, clear Here's face one shield piece of on kit that I use that's uh, especially for the stripping So as you can see, I've got the uh, the bottom half done. It was upside down, know, because flipped the other way. Fire pit. Uh, but what I do is I, I take it off. So I'll just take my uh, my zip really quick. I'll try to get set up here for you. So uh, what am I attempting to do? And it I've just found it works the best for me. I've seen guys put uh, big pipes on this stuff and turn it and uh, it's brass, it's soft and, and all I use is just a big ass hammer. Okay hey guys, so now all I really do is I just put something underneath it to protect it. I take a big hammer, okay. Now I've seen guys take these valves off these brass valves off with uh, big pipes on the end and stuff like that. I don't need to protect this. I can dent it up a little bit because all I do is melt it down and uh, use the brass for other projects. So I'll kind of show you on video in real time how easy it is. And then the rest just comes out and obviously it's pre-pressurized so it's purged already, so when they take it, get them filled up. I use nothing but new propane tanks. I used to use the old stuff, but just without knowing and filled with water to get all that stuff out of there. And I don't know if you've ever smelt the inside of one of these old ones, the egg, rotten egg smell. So there you go, a little bit of damage, but like I said, I take off all this stuff, all the plastic. I melt these right down and uh, I make them into other uh, I mean, It looks pieces. like a pretty simple template, which it is, but uh, what I like to do is you kind of check the bottles out and there's a lot of bad welds and stuff like that uh, that come from the factory. So I put them all to the back because the hood will cover all that. And usually I can tell because they do the same thing every time, the way the uh, uh, handle went on. I put one of the handles directly down the middle to the front. Okay. Step two is the way I've made this is with the natural weld line is where I put my line for where the mask is going to be. So this mask will be cut out literally there and that's the part that opens. This is the slots in the mask, so little holes here. I'll show you how I do them later, and then obviously the eyes. So I have my center marks here. So there you have it after I use my pilot bit, I just uh, hook up into my half inch drill, I use a step bit and uh, go to the desired size that you want. Okay, don't forget to do the one for your mask over there. Then from here I basically go straight into, uh, I used to draw a line, draw a line and it, it works quite well and cut it out with this, okay, uh, but like I said, now that I have a plasma cutter, I'll flip this over, I'll grab one of my uh, thin little metal rulers, and uh, I'll just kind of cut it out, so I'll start doing that, and I'll show you when I'm finished. Sorry, I forgot to, uh, to turn it on, as you see, I can, I'm cutting this out. The biggest thing about getting used to this is knowing your distance on your, uh, plasma cut a tip tip I've done so many of them now that uh, even if you start a little inside of what you think the line is you can always uh, chew off a little more
Okay, so now that that's all cut out, I'll do a little bit of cleanup before I get the mask cut out and stuff like that. So, a couple of things I use again, I'll go back to and my the same flat thing with, disc. Uh, his grill where the fire shows is I just have this uh, electric die grinder. Okay, so now I'm on to actually uh, cutting the mass that's going to go, uh, that's going to open up uh, to actually let the, take the ashes out and stuff like that. So I went over to my chop saw, I cut my hinge already. I'm so getting that's pretty ready. good at it. So what I do first is I'll cut down the hinge side, I'll come back, I'll weld the hinge on first so everything's where it's supposed to be. Then. I'll I'm going to spare you with the uh, the rest of it. But okay, I know this is really crappy light, but okay. So now the bottom's done, the top's done. I got the the uh, hinge welded on the side. Now I just got to do is connect the dots and we'll have an opening mass. So I like to keep it close to this hole and you'll see when I put the washer on and how I use it to close. So here we go. There it is. Now I'm onto the latch. Fairly simple. I just take some 3 8 rod. Uh, I put on the nut on the end. Now you'll see why I put this uh, hole so close to the side. I end up putting on a washer and that's one of my stops. I used to weld the stop into here but by doing this I'll put the other uh, nut on just to hold it all nice and tight. Uh, but by putting that washer on it kind of goes half and half and it just makes an automatic stop so as simple as that. So now I'll just put a little tack there, a little tack there, and then on the other side. So that's what I'll do now. Okay, so now because I do things in order, uh, I cut that piece off of here. That's going to be one of my latches. It's not uh, finished dimensions yet. Uh, but what I do is when these uh, picks come on sale, I get them for, I think it's like $2.99. Uh, I actually use them for a handle. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut off this section here. So, pardon the noise. I keep these as well. Uh, one of my uh, other burners, I use these for teeth. Okay, so put that in my bucket. So now I'll just clean this off, and like I said, I just use that as the handle. So I'll weld that to that, weld that to this, and then I'll have to make a latch, and I'm done. So.
Take the burrs off. Okay, so now all I do is, uh, hopefully you can see this, I'll, I'll bring it in a little closer. Okay. Now you want to give yourself a little bit extra on this. Go down the basic distance. Plum cut that. It's back and forth, so I'll kind of show you that if it doesn't work. Uh, so the reason I go a little bit high is you won't be able to unlock it if you don't. So. up to next so I'm gonna get rid of this guy here and I'm gonna start on the pieces that I was uh, making earlier you turn that off okay. so these guys here I cut them I cut mine at 14 inches uh, that's going to be the part the hood the eyeballs over top of the eyes okay These pieces here are parts of the mask, and there should be two of these, yes there is. Uh, this is the lower mask, this is the upper, then this one, and then make a uh, nose piece out of this, I'll show you that as well. Uh, so first got to cut these out.